This is the second video in our series. This one here will have show you how to build a balcony deck with a beam in the wall, except it will not tie to a ledger like the first video. And instead, it will actually lap and connect to the joist, making a nice, tight, solid structural connection, which is what we like. So here you can see where the joists are coming through. And in the other, in video number one, it is attaching to a ledger, and the ledger is lag screwed to the rim joist. And of course, this one here is going to be a lot stronger. Let's go ahead and here's what I'm talking about with the joists. Kind of you can see them connecting to the 2x12s. These are 2x10s. And uh, once we nail them with a few 16D nails, we are going to have a nice connection. I wanted to show you the corner here first. Let's go ahead and take away some of the blocks. If you do come to a point where the joists are going to butt up against each other, something like that, where they won't be able to lap or even be in uh, the bay located somewhere, somewhere in this area, then you might need to just cut them and try to center um, center the cut on the wall. And most uh, engineers, I think, are happy with an inch and a half full bearing point. And of course, this would give you an inch and three quarters if you had a two by four wall. And give you an idea about the lap here. A couple of 16s. This is a 12 inch lap here. You can always go a little longer, put a few more nails in it for a stronger connection. This is just an idea. Remember, these videos are just examples of how things can be done. Might not uh, work in your uh, on, on your project or in your area. So here's another view of the blocks. You will block in between the existing joists and you will block in between the new um, decking joists or balcony joists. But I guess if you were building all of this at once, all this would be new. So we can just uh, say existing and existing. How's that? So take a look at it from the bottom. Now, these are two by 10 blocks. If you don't need a some type of a block or you're not looking for some type of a diaphragm nailing here, uh, perimeter nailing, then um, you can always use two by six blocks and hold them up to the top of the joist. Uh, we have a double stud here. It's always nice to have a double stud in the wall supporting a doubler if you're going to have double floor joists. So that's a common method of building. Now I wanted to show you the window here in the first video. The window is not located here, and I will put a link at the end of the video for, to the first video, so you can go check that out if you haven't already. But I uh, wanted to give you an idea. You're going to be putting a lot more weight. This is a lot of weight here, and of course it would be even more weight if the balcony was larger. A four-foot wide balcony isn't going to have as much weight as a 16-foot balcony is, so you're going to have to keep that in mind. You might need to change out the header and, of course, add some additional trimmers, some type of supports to transfer, trans, transfer the load. So here, again, is the doubler underneath the double studs underneath the double joist. And wanted to give you an idea. We had a single joist in the previous video. Put a double joist in here. You're going to need to get a larger inverted hanger. Of course, take a look at it from the bottom. There we go. And that is it for this one here. So again, this is this particular deck. Then uh, the beam is not underneath the joist. I'm going to be making a few more videos on a couple of different ways to build a balcony deck. So this, these are two. Check them out. Like I said, I'm, I am going to make a playlist. And of course, there will be a link at the end of each video for those uh, for the playlist once it is completed. So you can check out all of the videos in one shot if you're trying to figure out which one you are going to use.